Reavers up at the half, 35-30, but not without the help of Shanae Shuttles, who popped off the bench in the second half, five for five, totaling up eight points. No, definitely her and Courtney Fields now are combined for a total of 21 points this half, which has really boosted you up. What do you go in the locker room telling your girls now? Eighth ranked Iowa Western women's basketball on a six game win streak strapping up against Southeastern tonight to finish out the regular season. The Reavers with their second national title here tonight. First one coming in 2006 with the freshman on that team, head coach Alicia Williams. Panther volleyball just four and 12 on the season with a four game losing streak. But the cool kids of Creston know that any team can win on any given day. So, the Broncos lead the Reavers 24-0 at the break. But Iowa Western, the only unbeaten team in the nation, has plenty of time to mount a comeback and gain its second national title in program history. Lindsey Vandehoof, seven years head coach, finally getting that Girl Scout badge of 200 career wins. Congratulations, Lindsey. Caitlin Clark once again named the Big Ten Player of the Week, making that 31 career Big Ten weekly honors. Clark and the number 12 Hawkeyes face the winner in Minnesota versus Northwestern Friday, March the 4th at the Big Ten Tournament. Tip-off set for 5.30 p.m. Central Time on the Big Ten Network. And with the Big Ten just a bounce pass away, another season has sprung up. 13-5 Iowa Western softball steps up to the plate for the home opener up against Central Missouri, and it's all smiles. That's right, we start at the bottom of the third with Rhea Riley, Canal Walchuk. Smokes one to the hot corner, driving in two with an RBI triple. Next at bat, Olivia Valdez hits one in the left, bringing in Canal Walchuk. And the Reavers are up by three. They don't check the rear view, that's for sure. Big Blue strikes down the Raiders 10 to one. I dub having a good flipping time. Third quarter, still a sword fight. The Spartans just won't go away until Ndidi Maka and Duque puts up eight points on the board. The Reavers lead 58-50 going into the fourth and final stretch. Hey, go Thankfully though, Burton decides to play pinball. And the Reavers crawl back to a 16-15 lead. Quarter number two. Don't take Nate Glance to a carnival. 50 yards to Isaiah Choki. Lance and Toki worked for six tokens on that play. The boys of Spring are back for the 40th season of Iowa Western Baseball. And they're ready to run away with it. The reality of my program is to better the kid, to get him prepared academically, and to improve him as a ball player, get him a little bigger, a little stronger, get him to learn the game a little bit, and get him placed somewhere else. Big Blue has popped off 12 and four to start the season. From 23 Reavers clocking in over 90 off the island. Not to mention the hot swords. Reavers knocking in 137 runs. They're bigger, they're stronger, they're more educated uh, about their weights, about their training, about their eating habits, their sleeping habits. They're just, they're more electric athletes. Mark Reardon is one rare coach. That's a sure fact. I mean, just just think about it between three-time National Coach of the Year and 12 JUCO World Series tournament appearances. The guy's got a resume longer than Santa's nice list. It makes this team a lot of fun. It's kind of a locker room atmosphere. Uh, it's one big family. It's just a bunch of brothers who uh, really enjoy being around each other. Um, I think the, the togetherness of this team is uh, kind of unrivaled to other teams I've been on. Um, and I think that that's something that'll definitely help, you know, as the season goes on. I mean, we got to come out every game and work. I mean, you know, our coach just said before this game, will over skill. That's true. I mean, we have all the skill power in the world to do great things, but we got to put our nose down and keep grinding every day to get better. With 19 sophomores committed to D1 schools. It makes sense why further into the season, they'll have a brand new all carpet home. Reporting for IWTV Sports. There you go. I'm Austin Greenland. It was only four months ago. Good game, guys. We watched the championship team come to its knees, sporting a silver trophy. Fast forward to April, and it's hitting different with a whole new squad. right, on scan, on scan, ready, break. You know, our expectations are always to compete for championships. You know, we were a long ways away. We lost a lot of players, but 
they know what it takes to get there. Um, I think they, they can see maybe some areas that we needed to improve on and in order to get over the hump. Go that post door, he's just gonna continue to block me. I wanna post through and swipe both of our hands up. I'm right here. After a championship run last season, but losing head quarterback Nate Glantz along with all American linebacker Jacob Ellis, 136 guys behind me compete to fill some big shoes this upcoming fall, and there's only more of them to come. A lot of evaluations, you know, that's what this spring's about is to try to evaluate to see who you know, because we have 100 coming in, you know what I mean? We have uh, incoming guys coming in too, so this gives them their opportunity to prove where they should stand on the roster. Everybody wants to run away with a starting spot, but none more than these guys. James Cooper, Aiden Eden, and Carson Rainey, all three redshirted last season. And while only one can get the job, they hope to fill this guy's shoes. Nate Glantz. The now Iowa State commit led the Reavers to the national championship last December. So how do you replace the second all-time passer in school history? He always just told me to be myself and do everything how I know I can do it. And uh, don't let anybody try to discourage me and just do what I know that I can do and do it to the best of my ability. Because I'm a young dude, I want to work on my leadership and like be able to get these guys behind me and get them wanting to go, go to war every day. Well, I'm really excited for this program. All these dudes out here is family for the rest of my life. The number one defense is coming back. Our offense is going to be even better than it was last year. We're just ready to go. What's the mindset coming into this season? Uh, the mindset is really we just we basically just focusing and trying to correct everything we did wrong last year. One thing about us, like when we get when we get new guys coming in, we still treat we treat them like we've been knowing them for the whole time. So everything everybody sticks together and. Everybody's like a family here. In the end, it's spring. Plays are to be made, and plays will be missed. Jukes are to be thrown, and push-ups will be done. What's ahead of this team is yet to be written, but greatness and success have a way of unraveling themselves. Yo, first day are we coming on the first day, good day. Reporting for IWTV Sports. I'm Austin Greenland. Yes, sir. It all starts with an early morning. The view from the parking lot, breathtaking. The weather, breathtaking. It may be cold, but the 2021 Iowa Western cross country team is ready to run this campus. Of course I do that after I stretch. <laughs> <laughs> after I stretch. Yeah. Which is full of yawns. <laughs> Scoops. Flex. Flex. Flex the calves. Laughs. <laughs> and notes. <laughs> oh. Until the shoes come off. The spikes are put on. <laughs> You're encouraged. And the men choose to lead. Uh, Fair enough. Set, go. We have some good depth. I think that's going to be key. I, we we're, we've got a low stick in Nicholas. We've got push, push, Jonas push. Uh, returning uh, after his runner-up campaign. We've got some good depth behind them. Uh, some good freshmen, some good sophomores. I, I'm excited to see where that's going to take us. What do you think the goal is for this year's team? Uh, definitely win a national championship as a team. You know, it's fun. We, we eat meals together, we have classes together, and we just help each other out. I have one buddy, we're in the same class, and we help each other with homework and because we're both kind of, it's not easy, but it's not hard, but when we help each other, it helps out a lot. So you help each other cheat? No. <laughs> I, I won't say yes or no. <laughs> no. <sighs> Twenty men. Roughly 10 freshmen and 10 sophomores rep in Iowa Western cross country jersey. But the question remains on the women's side. Between the five freshmen and six sophomores, how can they replace Faith Linga? The little girl with a smile is a two-time... It's hard watching a two-time national champion walk out the door. But what's even better is watching the next one walk in. <laughs> Mercy had a really, really good first race. Right, let's not get ahead of the horse. She only won the Woody Greeno Classic with a time of 16.57. The Athlete of the Week beating the previous winner, Faith Linga, by 12 seconds. She's capable of, of following up Faith and, and 
taking a shot at winning another national title individually. She's got some great girls behind her with Mo Hassan, um, Bethany, Jaden, all of Lizzie. The depth is awesome there too. Uh, I, we can take a shot on that side too. Yeah, like if I had to put a percentage on it, I'd say 90%. The goal is to get the national title for all of us girls. And we are doing that by, you know, showing up every day, just, you know, working out hard, helping each other. On the outside, it looks nice and calm. But in reality, it's a battle. A battle that this team is willing to face. For IWTV Sports, I'm Austin Greenland.